Well, hello everybody. Uh, we're taking a look at this 2018 uh, Next Gen Soft Dot Soft Tie Systems trailer, eight car open, Cottrell. Uh, there's all the information right there. It's a 2018, but 17, I don't know. So it's an 18. Um, so that's all the information. Uh, slightly used trailer. The guy uh, got himself a 10 car hauler. So you can see Lincoln's head is almost completely covered up by some of these tires. Uh, what does it look like? They're not matching. They're matching on the axles so far. Um, but uh, it, so he wants $72,000. That's the price for the trailer. Let's uh, take a look at the condition and uh, see what we have. It's a um, a car hauler, like I said, with um, with its own juice. It's got an um, electric, uh, uh, I, you know, you know what? I should have asked. It's, I don't think it's self-contained, but it's electric, if that makes sense. Look, it's got a document manual package. I wonder what's in there. Let's take a look. Anything in there? Nothing. Um, but that's kind of the storage for the, I think, the documents. You got your filters. Um, I believe these are valves. You know, I, I worked with a six-car liftgate trailer enclosed. So, I've never driven a... Uh, open car carrier like this so I can't say too much about that type of thing but um, in this video I just want to take a look at the condition of it see what we have here so you will know it says no step why not no step over here so you don't slip and hurt yourself huh um as you can see, it's fresh, really fresh. Uh, he just decided to go to the 10 car hauler. So if you have a nice, nice uh, cab to pull this with, this may be a good trailer for you. Let's check out the tires on this side too. Okay, these two are also matching on the same axle see the thickness and uh, right here so uh, this one looks like uh, what's going on here a little bit less tread on these let's see how's that one look So, um, some low profile, 22 inch tires, 22 inch rims. What else do we have here? I, I, so far I don't see any leaks or any, any issues with the cylinders, the hoses, everything looks secure. Right here we've got the gauge in oil at zero right now of course it's not running but uh levers are nice and tight as you can see just a little bit of uh slack in them that's uh that's um you know your allowable slack but this way they're nice and uh tight feeling cylinders on the valves you can see feels really uh, a lot of resistance. The slack is just in these little, uh, that one's a little bit falling off there, the cover. Uh, but it seems good. You got your electric hoist. Uh, safety pins. 
They're not engaged. He's got a set of straps on it. Sticker from before. So, uh, straps look like in uh, used condition, but uh, great, great condition. Ready to work, you know? Ready to work and still have plenty of use out of them. Got a couple pieces of wood out here. Oh, let's see the flip out ramps. Let's take a good, good look at it. Um, see if we have any stress marks. For some reason, this, this side is a little bit down than that one on this top rack, but uh, I think that's uh, it's just from uh, the pins not being set. And just went down a little bit or wasn't up all the way. So, uh, yeah, it's got this uh, non-skid uh, treating. It's uh, tread. Treating, tread, paint. I don't know. What do you call this stuff? Looks like a fresh coat of it been rolled on. Not too long ago. Again, over here, this cylinder is good. Looks like the lube's been on recently. So, a uh, very fresh trailer, really dry and um, good condition. Uh, not much wear. Looks like it'll still provide plenty of use, many years of use. How does that work? I just want to see. Oh, yeah, that's it. So, uh, uh, so 72000 it could be yours. This eight-car open deck trailer it, it looks like it it almost goes flat huh i like how how it goes fairly flat fairly low no rails not a high, high, high rail i wonder how much more does it does it go down over here it might go down a little bit more or is that cylinder all the way up oh that's all the way in so uh i, I think that's about it Maybe that one, that one goes in a little bit and that lays down lower. Um, and what about this? This just goes up and, oh, that's for the bottom deck there. Swinging it, okay. Too bad I can't play with it, huh? Let's uh, take a look at the connections. Okay, so it is electric right here. That's your power. That's what he meant when he said electric. Electric off your battery will run the juice here. And you got your regular trailer electrical wire. So this is, uh, you could make it self-contained really easy. Put a couple of batteries somewhere. There you go, but nice solid uh, connector here. You can see he probably had it going through here. Right? Yeah, there's a kind of like showing, showing that it's been hanging like that. Right, might want to put a grommet on there or something or a, a piece of rubber hose just to kind of um, prevent it from over time giving you an issue. Yeah, so um, as you can see again, the straps, they do have, they have some use in them, but they look like there's plenty of room, plenty of use left in them. Okay, do several loads. And of course, over here, you got your little storage. Got some holes down there. Oh, what's up, Bumblebee? Look at you, huh? Off she goes, as soon as we got her on video. Trying to photobomb us. But today we got the trailer as the star. So that's what it looks like from me standing on top. So let's see, that deck slides forward. And then this will flip out and we can drive the car on. 
Yeah. Solid trailer. I don't see anything that could be loose or or um, not fastened down or worn out. So some really good equipment here. I mean, you you could look up at the slides here. Looking good. Maybe throw some lube on that, comrade, huh? Put some graphite in that. But uh, that's not something that is a major thing that'll wear out in this side too, huh? Oil that up. At least with some water displacement. Did you know that? Did you know the the actual name? What WD-40 stands for? It stands for Water Displacement 40th Formula. It took them 40 times to get it right. So um, it's a lube that gets water to stay away. Displaces water. Don't know what else to tell you other than uh, the guy's information. We'll have it in the link of the description below. Tell them Surge sent you. Uh, it's out here in Northern California, Sacramento area. Just looks like a solid piece of equipment. Some guys, uh, yeah, DOT may not like this strap. I have to replace this one. Because if it's more than, that's about your, the limit. You know, once it gets a tear like that, it's time to replace it. So, um, you may want to replace that one. Let's hop over to this side, over here. This one, probably the car runs over this side, right? All the time, right? Like that, boom, boom. So, uh. That one's got to go too soon. Maybe that's what this pad is for, huh? This, this uh, wear pad, maybe it's supposed to be down there. Anyways, don't can't tell you much more than that. Um, you got the cylinder here for that ramp. Wow, so many moving parts, huh? So, um, yeah, use some lube on there too, huh? What is this for? Just like a little, it doesn't come out, but it's loose. Just a little handle to ha hang on to or a little guide so you kind of see where you're driving so you don't know. fall off the deck. I mean. Yeah. A nice holes punch through here. Look at that. He's got his ramps. Boom. There's your ramp. I don't have a stick with me in. Don't want to be touching anything without a glove. There you go. So uh, that's the view of it. Let's see the bottom. Has he been bottoming out a lot? Maybe. He's got his little skid plate here, huh? You know, these things ride on the, on the speed bumps every now and then. see this that's what it looks like so bottom you could feel you know it doesn't look like he got stuck on the railroad track or anything like that so uh yeah that's that's what we have here some equipment again uh 2017 model or 18 built in the half year 
Let us know if you're interested in it.